Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here just relaxing, enjoying the weather, thinking and contemplating about life, my experiences, and the experiences of our, of our ancestors, the experiences of the of the uh, American society and citizens of the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. The hard work they put in to uh, provide a, a luxurious uh, um, country for us to live in. I, re I really do appreciate the hardworking men and women of America. So don't take what I'm about to say as a like I, as a disrespect. Like I love everyone, everyone is working hard and providing for their families. Um, my videos are designed to provoke thought. They're designed to um, enlighten those who want to be enlightened about some of the um, drawbacks and concerns about you know working for a system that does not value you and see so that's that's really what it boils down to of course yeah, yes we have nice buildings and malls and cars and and nice houses and things like yes we have those things but guys we gotta remember those things were uh, built to improve the quality of living for us you know um so if you're going to improve the quality of living for the people that built these buildings and these apartments and houses, they should be affordable. I mean, who voluntarily builds an apartment that they can't afford to live in? So, you know, it, make, it makes no sense. You know, we're building things that, that we really can't afford to utilize. You know, um... It's like building a prison in reverse, almost. I mean, that's 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 the best way I can I'll, I can describe off, off the top of my head. It's, it's just it's just weird um, that we've designed a system that is so complicated and so abusive and so unforgiving. Who do we? Who, who, who are these buildings and streets? Who is it for? It's, it's for us, right? So if the buildings and the streets are for us, then we, we should be able, be able to enjoy them without um, having to perform a, a back-breaking or laborious task for 50, 60 hours a week. You know? Um, it, it just, it's just hard to understand the system, guys. You know, like that. You know, that, you know, the things that we've accomplished. And we are, you know, forcing people to pay inflated prices for things that that are needed you know people need housing they need food you know, these things are needed in order to keep the the system that we have built operational and efficient you know if we can't keep it you know if we can't keep the prices and the cost of living manageable who do who do we blame? I mean, you know, it's not, not it's not like you know some uh, outside forces coming in and forcing us to raise prices. You know, so it has to be the the, the 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 power structure, the matrix that's that's really don't care. They they can't care if the workers are building apartments that they can't afford to live in. If the farmers are forming the land they can't afford to, 
buy. If you're building roads that you can't afford to drive on, I mean, it really makes no sense, guys. But guys, that's not what this video is about. This video is about a job description for an indentured servant, associate, or a slave. And the name of the company is Freedom Labor Forces. Incorporated. Freedom Labor Force Incorporated. Okay, guys. Let's get into it, guys. So, here's the position indentured serve, servitude associate. It's seeking highly resilient individuals to fulfill the role of indentured servant associate. This position requires unwavering dedication and the ability to endure strenuous conditions while providing comprehensive support across various aspects of the company's operation. These are the responsibilities of the slave. This is job, this is a this is a job application. This is the, the, the this is what you're applying for. When you apply for the job, this is what you're applying for. This is a job description. I'm sorry, an application. A job description. All right, here, here we go. Execute tasks assigned by superiors without question, including but not limited to manual labor, clerical duties, and personal errands. Maintain company premises in impeccable condition, including cleaning, organizing, and performing maintenance work. Work extended hours, including nights, weekends, and holidays as dictated by company needs. Report promptly to superiors and provide regular updates on task completion and progress. You must be able to operate under high levels of scrutiny and pressure maintain, while maintaining a professional demeanor at all times. You must be able to complete all assignments with precision and attention to detail, meeting strict deadlines. You must be able to follow all company policies and produce and procedures rigorously, ensuring compliance at all times. You must manage multi multiple tasks simultaneously, demonstrating flexibility and adaptability in response to changing priorities. You must, in addition to that, you must be able to perform additional duties as required. Contributing to the overall efficiency and productivity of the company. Here are the qualifications that you need to be a slave. Physical stamina and strength to perform demanding tasks over long periods. High tolerance for stress and the ability to function effectively under extreme conditions. Strong work ethic and willingness to submit to authority. You have to have strong work ethic and you have to be willing to submit to authority. And deal with high stress and high demands. Basic literacy and numeracy skills. Ability, ability to follow detailed instructions and adhere to stringent guidelines. No prior experience is required. On the job, training will be provided. Demonstrated history of reliability and punctuality. You got you got to be the, you got to be to work on time. All right, here are the compens here's the compensation package for you guys. If you decide to pursue a career as a slave, here is the our compensation package. 
compensation and benefits, modest living quarters and basic provisions supplied by the company, on-site medical care and emergency support, okay, that's what's good, potential for conditional rewards, all right, okay, they may give you, you know, a free, a free piece of bacon, a piece of bacon and a potato, opportunities for skill development and personal growth within the company's framework. All right, that's not too bad. Okay, application process. Interested candidates should submit an application detailing their physical capabilities and readiness to commit to a rigorous workforce. Freedom Labor Force and is committed to fostering a productive and compliant workforce and look forward to welcoming individuals who are prepared to dedicate their lives fully to our mission. See guys, that is a job description for a slave to work. Now, of course, I'm being facetious, but this application is really this not application. This this description is really an unwatered down version of how they see you. A traditional job description is more polite. It is more polite and politically correct, but this is what they really want to say in the in the typical uh, job description that unskilled laborers will have to apply for. So, guys, the point I'm trying to make is is that. If, if they could work you for free, they would. If they can give you a ham sandwich, a cup of water, and a tent down by the river, that's what they would do, guys. So guys, remember, you are not required to dedicate your life force to working for these companies that do not value you. You are a disposable resource. You are not needed. Most of the time, you're not wanted. And as soon as the robots are able to perform most of your tasks, you will be canceled. So guys, remember, to increase your value, you must know your worth. You must dedicate yourself to being a person of integrity. You need to know that you are in a program. Some say that we're in a simulation. Others say that we are being controlled by aliens. It doesn't matter, guys. The programs are real. And anybody who have analytical thinking skills will tell you that. 
So guys, I need for you to go forth with wisdom and understanding and realizing that this job description is indicative of the typical company. Like I can pull, I can go put up a job description right now and it's gonna almost look like this with euphemisms. Because their objective is for you to work without questioning any of the directives that they give you. You're not supposed to think. Companies don't hire you to do too much thinking. The system is in place. Let the, the matrix will do the thinking. And you will follow the orders. That's it, guys. So until next time, guys, keep your mind clean, keep your body clean, keep your life clean, keep your environment clean. Deploy your anti-mind virus software. Debug and, from, debug and unplug from the system. F learn who you are. Know thyself. So you can recreate yourself into the man or woman you need to be. Until next guy, until next time, guys. I'm sign, I'm signing off with my new name, Contraband 303. Now go and conquer yourself. Peace.